welcome back again in lecture series of transport management and law myself adil sen sik assistant professor automobile department ljit we had already discussed of so many chapters of chapter number 5 of the vehicle act so today we are going to discuss about licensing of conductors of stage carriages see this is the important phenomenon like uh, in whenever we are going to for traveling for a gsrtc at that time you have to know about about licensing of conductors of stage carriages right now we had all in discussion regarding licensing of light duty vehicles then two wheelers four wheelers heavy duty vehicles so and in very first chapter we had already discussion of some most important definitions of motor vehicles and particular sections of motor vehicle act so in this particular chapter we had a discussion of registrations of motor vehicle chapter number 4 and chapter number 5 of control of transport vehicles so in chapter number 4 we had a discussion how registration to be made particularly for class of the vehicles and in chapter number 5 we had a discussion regarding control of transport vehicles like permits rtos dot tax etc so let us discuss one by one all the parameters the first one is necessity of conductors license right so let us discuss no person shall act as a conductor of a stage carriage unless he holds an effective conductor license issued from higher authorities to act as a such conductors and no person shall employ or permission for the uh conductors who is not so licensed to act as a conductors of a stage carriage means you have to take permission from motor motor authorities to be act as a conductor you cannot act as a conductor directly in uh, like gsrtc buses conductor uh, then a municipal buses or any brts buses right so we have to take permission from a uh, higher authority like uh, regional transportation office to act as a conductors in stage carriages now further we are discussing regarding this qualification this qualification for the grant of conductor license so which are the basic criteria to disqualify for the grant as a conductor license so let us discuss first no person under the age of 18 years shall hold or to be a granted as a conductor license means minimum age requirement for conductor license is 18 years remember guys 16 years in licensing means to driver as a act as a driver with less than 50 cc vehicles and without gear vehicle for 16 years and for 18 years age required for conductor license as well as for eligibility to drive vehicles of light motor vehicles and the licensing authority may refuse to issue a conductor license below the provisions like first one is a there is a requirement of a minimum educational qualification right 12 pass or maybe a graduation required for to be act as a conductor in stage carriages first one is the minimum educational qualifications there are so many criteria of the minimum education for different different state for different so in gujarat there is a particular 12 pass requirements for the conductor licenses and second one is the if the medical certificate produced by the applicant is not to disclose that he is a physically unfit to act as a conductor means physical handicap person cannot apply for the post of the conductor there might be some issues from physical handicap person side and he or she is not eligible for to act as a conductor in particular this case carriage is right it is a major issue in our system and there might be a chances of to file a petition against motor vehicle authorities in such manners in physical fitness certificate of the particular person to act as a conductor right so these are the basic criteria now registration of motor vehicles most important part of your motor vehicle act so first one is the necessary for registration right see registration of vehicle required right it is required right it is a mandatory required it is the mandatory requirement of registration of the vehicle because if we cannot register our vehicles up at that time there, is, there might be a chances of 
owner, there might be a chances of obligation of ownership, right? Second thing is the registration where to be made. There is a personal, there is a specially designed RTOs for the registration. Every district have its own RTO, right? So at where we can do our registration for our for particular vehicles. Now registration how to be made and special provisions for registration of motor vehicles of diplomatic officers. So there are so many provisions for diplomatic officers for the registration purpose. Now temporary registrations and production of vehicle at the time of registration. So these are the basic criteria of registration of vehicles and refusal, refusal of registration or renewal of the certificate of the registration. If you don't have any kind of uh, certificates or maybe uh, age limit, make maximum chances of uh, refusal of this registration is the age limit of the vehicle. At that time, there might be chances of vehicle detention. And if letting of documents, uh, particularly registration time, is not properly, so there might be chances of detention of the particular vehicle. Means there are basic criteria of the registration of the vehicle. First one is the necessity for registration, then how to be made, where to be made, there is a special RTUs for the there, is a, there are special RTUs for registration purposes and special provisions for diplomatic officers like the PMO, CMO. So there are diplomats, right? So they they have special provisions for their vehicles. Uh, there might be sometimes chances of temporary registration, right? And whenever we are going for a purchase new vehicles, at that time, motor vehicle authority provides us a temporary number. So this is a temporary registration of our vehicle up to the 30 days or May. There is a limit of 90 days of temporary registration. Within seven days, you have to register your vehicles in motor vehicle authority. Otherwise, there might be a chances of penalties for your vehicles, right? So this is the registration processes. Now, another thing in the registration of vehicle is that whenever you are going to register your vehicle in particular motor authority, at that time your vehicle is throughout affected in India. Whenever you go at the India particular level, the registration is valid, right? And there might be a registration mark on vehicles of another states, right? There might be chances of registration mark, right? Different state have its own registration mark, so there might be chances of different different registration marks. And third one is the no objection certificate. Whenever you are going for a purchase of new vehicle or secondary vehicle, at that time dealership or manufacturer provide you no objection certificate. And whenever you go, whenever you go for a second hand purchase, at that time main owner giving you a no objection certificate of the vehicle means selling certificate means you can buy you can buy our vehicle with, with our prior permission that means in a no objection certificate means change of residence or place of business whenever you are we are going for a change of residence or place of business at that time you have to report your vehicles at motor vehicle authority and at that time you have to change your correspondent address according to your uh, your residence right now transfer of ownership from one person to another person uh, and in particularly transfer of ownership we can say that first owner give noc to the other persons and in some cases in some accidental cases nominee can be directly adopt vehicles and transfer the papers for their name, right? Then alteration in motor vehicle without permission of higher authorities or motor vehicle authorities, you cannot address, you cannot do any kind of modification in your vehicle. So this is the main important point. Nowadays there are so many people in our society going to be modify their vehicles uh, uh, without the prior permission of motor vehicle authorities. And at that time, they might there might be a chances of pay heavy fine, right? due to their modification of vehicles. Right? So addressing in, in motor vehicles is not permitted without higher authorities or motor vehicle authorities. And cancellation of registration. In case of any accidental cases or in case of any like a uh, influence case of drugs or alcohol, at that time there might be chances of cancellation of 
the cancel is on the registration of all of your vehicles so these are the basic aspects of the registration of motor vehicles and certificates of fitness certificate of fitness generally provided by the motor vehicle inspector at the time of uh, second time of registration and whenever you are going for a new person at that time company provide the fitness certificate and special provision also also are there for the transportation vehicle so these are the basic criteria of registration of vehicle and remember that every vehicle has its own life Generally, commercial vehicle have 15 years age, two wheelers have a 10 years age, and transport vehicle have every year renewal. So, these are the basic registration process. Control of transportation vehicle. First one is the control of transportation vehicle. So, first one is the necessary for permit, the transportation authorities, application for the stage carriage is then application for the contract carriage permit is scheme for renting of motor cabs and application for the private service. Vehicle permit and last one is the application for the goods carriage permit. The most most important thing duration and renewal of permits. Permit is most important task and we we will discuss it in our next le next lecture. Which are the basic criteria of permits and how it will be important in our transportation department. Generally, transport authorities control transportation systems and. Basically, they form, they create a permit for every kind of vehicle. And last one is the temporary permit and transfer of permit we had. We will discuss it now. We will discuss it in our next chapter, right? So, review questions are there for you, right? These are these are seven review questions are there. Basic age limit, the temporary decision process. The registration required, why registration required, what is permit, then what is the age limit of motor vehicle and disqualification of conductor license. So go through just uh, these basic seven regulations. Till date, stay home.